Dr. Rachel uh, McNair is the current Vice President of the Consistent Life Network. She has a PhD in Psychology and Sociology, Sociology from the University of Missouri at Kansas City. Her doctoral research focused on the psychology of killings, which led to her coining the term perpetrated induced traumatic stress. Pitts is a form of stress that may affect people such as soldiers and doctors who participate in killings. A believer in a consistent life ethic, she assists people with statistical consulting in her field of expertise. She has a P before earning a PhD, she was a political activist serving as president of Feminist for Life of America for 10 years. Some of her books include Consistently Opposing Killings, From Abortion to Assisted Suicide, The Death Penalty, and the War, and War. And Perpetration Induced Traumatic Stress, The Psychological Consequences of Killing. An entire list of her publications, presentations, and several bits of free information on her theories can be found on her website. Welcome, Dr. Rachel McNair. Thank you. And uh, because I'm going to be showing you a web page, I'm going to be down here and because I'm inclined to talk when I walk anyway. Um, we've talked a lot about uh, taxpayer defunding of Planned Parenthood and uh, uh, foundations, of course, are another major source of uh, their revenue, but another major source, obviously, is their clientele. And when we say, oh, taxpayers shouldn't be funding this, they say, oh, but, but look, we, we serve these underserved areas. And you're going to be taking money away from uh, uh, serving the health needs of poor women in underserved areas. So, I mean, that's the response they give when they say, oh, it doesn't matter if it's 13,000 community health centers if they're not right there where they need to be. So what we did is we took each Planned Parenthood Center, which of course is easily found on their webpage, and there's roughly 600 of them, which is way less than there used to be, and we matched them See there? And you can look them up by state. See that? And I'm going to take Colorado because we're in Colorado and it's a good one to show some of the, there we go, some of the points about it. Now, have a bunch of stuff explaining and then here we have, see there, Alamosa. There's the Planned Parenthood Center. There's the nearby community health centers. Federally qualified community health centers. Uh, we just took the uh, address of Planned Parenthood of that specific center. And uh, up on the federally qualified community health center page, it tells us which ones are within five miles. So you see we have that one, and then there's that one. Those are the ones in Aurora, Boulder, Colorado Springs, Cortez. Now Denver has three. And of course, uh, anybody around here who's familiar knows that some of those others were suburbs of Denver. Durango. Oops, look at there. There's none uh, within five miles. There's none suitable within 25 miles of the one in Durango. And uh, we have uh, found that there are 75 of them that do not have a community health center within five miles. So, what we have is a bunch of some that have one or two, some that have a whole lot, some that have none. Now, when I bring up this project with the, the Consistent Life uh, Network Board, I have one member who 
will always regale me with how terrible her experience was with her local community health center. And uh, on the uh, research page, we have put her story. Now, I am going to get back up so you can see the top. And so, the next step for activists. And remember, this, this web page is for activists. This is not, when, when he was talking about the, uh, uh, the website where you could put in your zip code and find what was local to you, that's totally uh, separate from whether it's anywhere near Planned Parenthood or not. It's just, you know, you find the one that's near you. Um, that is intended for women who are trying to find their own place. This is intended for activists. Because what we're doing is encouraging local campaigns to get the women to go to the community health centers for their pap smears, for their breast exams, for the sexually transmitted diseases uh, testing and treatment. Uh, the, the STD testing and treatment is 38 to 40 percent of what they do. Um, the cancer screenings are 15 percent of what they do. Uh, the contraception is only a third. Now this is on the same metric that, you know, 3% is abortion, which is ridiculous. But nevertheless, uh, I mean, the exact percentages aren't important. The point is that a huge bunch of what they do is the STD testing and treatment. Uh, with a good large hunk on cancer screenings. So, the first thing you want to do is research those community health centers. And we give here a list, and you can go and look at it, of all the various things you need to research. You need to make sure that they can take new patients. If they are got a six-month waiting list, if you're sending women into a nightmare by sending them there, that they would be legitimately angry at you for sending them there, then there's a problem. Uh, I found one that had the opposite problem. They wouldn't let you make a, an appointment until two weeks out. You couldn't make it further than two weeks in advance. Well, that's kind of hard on working women. So, you've researched it. So you've got three situations. One, the community health center is fantastic. Oh, this is great. They can take new patients. They would be grateful to you if you would send some more their way. They don't have enough money to do advertising. Oh, I mean, that's child's play for us. I mean, give us a little budget for brochures and we have the people power to go out, you know, send, send people, uh, uh, let's see, hold on here. Send, send people to uh, concerts, people coming out of concerts, and it's important to get them coming out of concerts. You don't want to get the going into concerts because you don't want them talking to each other in the concert. So, see you got that? Action ready to go. Whole bunch of ideas on the various things that you can do. Do be sure that your CHC is okay with your doing it, because, uh, and you, and in, and, and, and be mindful whether you want to be contrasting it with Planned Parenthood or leaving Planned Parenthood out entirely because the first thing you want to not do is to be advertising them. So, bunch of ideas, they're ready to go. But suppose the CHC is needing improvement. See, we've got a whole page full of suggestions there. And some of these suggestions are brainstorms. I've, I've talked with people and they say, oh, what about this? And they, we put them in. As time goes by, we're going to get experience with this. As we get experience, we're going to put down, uh, you know, somebody tried this idea, turned out really well. Somebody tried that idea, it was a mistake for this reason. And you need to know the reason because something that's a mistake in Arkansas may be an excellent idea in New York. And so we will be, I am literally uh, changing 
the uh, web page every few days because we are constantly getting updated information. This web page, the reason that the, that the web page is the, is the crux of what I'm talking to you about is that it's the clearinghouse that we can use to organize with each other. Because grassroots is really where the strength is. Planned Parenthood, the advantage they have is money. The advantage we have is people. I mean, think about that a minute. Uh, that means that they are going to be more powerful in the short term, and we are going to be more powerful in the long term. And then, as I said, we also have, what if there's no, whoa boy, there's no CHCs nearby. Well, hopefully your computer acts <laughs> better than this one does. Okay. There's a page about no uh, CHCs nearby where we list the 75. And you can see uh, we, we will be needing uh, individuals who say, okay, I am working on the one in my area, therefore I'll be a contact person. And we will put contact people up, we will put success stories, we will put ideas. Uh, we've already had one case where uh, in New England several people decided that the way to research the CHCs was to make a research party of it. So we described how they made a party of it and got uh, went out and got the information and, and came back. Uh, in some places a well-placed billboard would be like the fantastic thing to do. In other places it will be a silly idea. I talked to someone this last week who was saying, well, in Texas, she is one of the places where the CHC is not nearby. It's eight miles away, so they're going to give people $10 gas cards to get there, to encourage them to go. Well, in Texas, a $10 gas card is probably uh, what makes sense. I mean, people have cars because it's Texas. You know, poor people have cars because it's Texas. They just don't have gas money. But in, uh, in a lot of cities, it would be a, a silly thing to give somebody a gas card. You'd give them a subway token or a bus token. Um, it's just going to vary so much. And uh, the, the information we have on here, it starts off with what was on the web. And one of my favorite examples of somebody, somebody locally letting us know that, you know, the web was not good enough is she said, okay, this Planned Parenthood may be within five miles of this community health center as the crow flies or, more accurately, as the fish swims, but there's a lake between them. And you've got to go 10 miles this way and cross a bridge and 10 miles that way. And you're better off uh, sending people to the one that's uh, eight miles away in this other town. Now, you know, for some rural places, okay, eight miles would de do. You know, they, they do that all the time. In some rural places, the fact that it's not within five miles is not that big a deal. In other places, in a city, eight miles away would be unreal. Uh, in some cities. Now, what we have put here, I said community health centers, there's also a program called the Rural Health Clinics, and uh, they also serve as good alternatives. Obviously, they're in rural areas, so that fits in. In some cases, such as Obria and Guiding Star, and as we see out here, Marisol, there are uh, pro-life clinics that are offering the same services, the, the STD testing and all that. We mainly do not include regular uh, pregnancy help centers that might, they might do sonograms and they certainly do pregnancy tests unless they also do something like STD treatment because the point here is that we have known for years, I mean the very first thing to do when abortion was legalized through Roe v. Wade was to set up more pregnancy help centers by way of alternatives to abortion. This is expanding beyond alternatives to abortion. This is alternatives to all of Planned Parenthood. 
Now, the long-term gain, I think, uh, uh, has occurred to people uh, immediately if you can uh, weaken this, this giant behemoth that helps us in lobbying. If they close the centers that are in the underserved areas because they had a 10% drop in business, and I mean, it, in some cases it may only take that, then when they get up and say, oh, well, but we serve the underserved, you can say, not in this state, you don't. See, we've got it right here. You can look on this page and see exactly what they have. So you can look and see what it is that they actually have, and you can address what they actually have. I mean, does that community health center need more money in order to not have a six-month waiting list? Does it need a petition drive in order to talk it out of telling them that you can't make a, an appointment more than two weeks out? Whatever it needs to improve, we can send people to the good ones, we can improve the ones that aren't good, we can try and find alternatives to go in those places where they are in fact underserved. And that may mean finding a perfectly good clinic that just didn't feel like going through the federal bureaucracy rigmarole of signing up to be a federally qualified community health care clinic. There, there will be some perfectly good clinics out there that simply did not wish to list in the system. We need to find those and put them in. So the basic concept, we also have, um, show you, we have specific for students because student health centers can be another possible uh, thing. We had a, a, another possible alternative. We had a case in Ithaca, Cornell, we had a student there who said the health, the campus health center will do STD testing if you're showing symptoms but not for just regular screening. And we just were conspiring together saying well what we need to do then is have a student campaign that they should provide the STD screening for just regular screening and you could probably get the the on-campus women's center interested in that. I mean, that that point wouldn't require being pro-life. And she was getting ready to start the campaign when the health center said, oh yeah, okay, we'll do that since you ask. <laughs> it really only took asking. And uh, and they, I mean, they had the, the wherewithal, they had the resources, and so they did it. So, uh, so students can have that potential, and then once the students do that, they need to advertise and make sure that the other students know. Now that, of course, is fairly limited, but, uh, because it's limited to students. Uh, campus centers only do students, but every little bit helps. We also have the point about mammograms that, I'll show you more of the page there that um, Planned Parenthood doesn't do them. I mean, they just don't do them, and yet people refer people to Planned Parenthood all the time, and Planned Parenthood then refers them on to someone else. Well, I mean, the project of just figuring out who's referring people to Planned Parenthood, and, and we give some suggestions on how to do that, and make to them the case that, um, that, you know, maybe if you just kind of referred to the place to get the mammogram instead of, you know, putting women through to, you know, even a strong Planned Parenthood sympathizer would see the, the sense in that. So that can make a good project uh, uh, for short term. But I, I really want to emphasize the importance of researching the CHCs because I've, I've had, I had one woman say to me, oh, well, we called the CHC and they don't do abortions and therefore we're sending people there. Okay, see, it's a CHC by definition it doesn't do abortions. But we did find one on the web page in New York that uh, said that they were sending their doctors to... Um, Planned Parenthood for their reproductive health training. 
So we put a little mark on here saying PP caution, you know, there's a caution here. But we go ahead and leave them in here because we want all the information we want. For one thing, if a, if a CHC turns out to be so much in bed with Planned Parenthood, in fact, there's one in San Francisco where the Planned Parenthood is inside the CHC. That, I, I mean, in the case of if they were doing the training at Planned Parenthood, maybe that means you want to leave it alone. Or maybe that means you want to say, well, but St. Joseph could do that for them. Why don't we see if we can't get St. Joseph to do it for them instead? You know, St. Joseph Hospital, whatever. Uh, try, you know, so we, we keep that information in there. If, if one turns out to be bad, we want the information so that people don't reinvent the wheel. Um, but also, there might be other things you can do if you have the information. So we start off with the web information, and then we're asking local activists, at the very least, I, I, all of you should have gotten one of these, and uh, there are more up here if you'd like to uh, grab some to give to your friends. At the very least, I'd like you to ask, ask you to look at your own state and your own listings and see if there's anything in there that we ought to know and update. If you know that your local CHC has a good reputation, a bad reputation, the, that there's a, good, a perfectly good clinic that just isn't a CHC that we ought to put in or look into. How does all this relate to people using the emergency room as a type of health clinic? Basically, basically the reason we're talking about community health centers rather than just uh, taking your insurance and going to a regular doctor is that we're talking about low-income women. But uh, women who, who have alternatives to Planned Parenthood generally will want them. Another, uh, another thing I didn't mention is that there's a, a site called Check My Clinic that, and then there were none, uh, has put together. And every time they could find health violations for specific abortion clinics, a large number of which, of course, are Planned Parenthoods, they, they, they put them up on the web, on their own specific page. This, this one right here has the, you know, here's the 2014 report, and here's the 2015 report, and here's a summary of what they said. And we have put uh, the, the link to those on, under the specific center, so that a local activist could look and see, okay, here are the health violations of Planned Parenthood. Now, again, you got, you got to check the CHC first because if it turns out that they're just as bad on the health violations, then the, you obviously haven't made a very good contrast. Um, but of course, if they're very bad on health violations, they may well not be a CHC anymore. So probably what you're going to find is that you're in good shape and can make that contrast well. So, see, the thing is, you're trying to talk a woman into, uh, or a man, uh, into going to some place other than Planned Parenthood. The reason could be, look at the health violations and that'll do it. The reason could be, the test over here is $10 cheaper. For some women, that would do it. They're gone. For other women, it would be, well, pff, I don't, I'm already here. I don't want to take another trip for just $10. You, you, you basically have to figure out all the selling points that there are because there'll be different ones for different people. But remember this, I, I mean, in the long-term thing I discussed, but there's a short-term thing too, which is that every individual woman, I mean, if you spent your day and the only pro-life thing you achieved is that you got one woman to go to a CHC instead of to the Planned Parenthood, you have really achieved something that day. In the short term, she could get pregnant a year from now. Remember, we're talking about women who aren't pregnant yet. And she gets pregnant a year from now. She's used to going to Planned Parenthood. They go in and they say, okay, well, when do you want to, your, your test is positive, when do you want to schedule your termination? This is the assumption. And if she's ambivalent about it, then they'll um, try and talk her into it. Whereas if she goes to the community health center, and I say, well, your pregnancy test is positive. We've got the prenatal clinic right here. And not all of them do, but large numbers of them will have prenatal clinics right there. 
uh, they'll at least have an assumption that that's what she wants. And even if she says, no, 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 I wish to terminate, and they say, okay, fine, here's a referral to Planned Parenthood, I mean, we're not happy about that, but we're still better off that the assumption was that, and they're not going to push her into it if she's feeling ambivalent. So it could be, in the short term, life-saving right away. And another point is that you have a lot of sidewalk advocates who, uh, you know, they, oh, bless those people. I mean, that is hard work. Yeah. That is hard work, and you're scared that you're going to do something wrong and the baby would die and wouldn't have died if you had just done it right, and there are a lot of people who simply cannot handle that work who can handle the work of going to Planned Parenthood on non-abortion days and saying, hey, do you realize that this service that you were about to get here is $10 cheaper three blocks away? You know, we could get more people out if they had more things that they could do, and that would just feel very good and productive. Thanks, this time is up. Thanks very much. Both of these presenters have been great, very informative, and on an issue that's important to all of us.